Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man, back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button, subscribe button, your way, and I appreciate all the support, man. Your boy is still West Coasting, man. I'm up here in the San Francisco area, the Stockton, California area, the Oakland area, the San Jose area, man. All this Sacramento, all this whole area right here is all about 60 miles apart. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much where I'm at right now. And you remember Stockton, California. That's where the SO, that's when uh, the Suns was at. You know what I'm saying? Conceited, Heartless, Quantum. They was all representing Stockton, man. The rest in peace, Tall T, all that kind of stuff. All of that was up here. So, you know what I'm saying? When you be driving, it's kind of cool to kind of see these areas, man. I kind of like would have never been in this part of town. You know, I don't really know anybody to live up here. So, other than that, I would have never been up here before. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Warriors fan. I'm not too far from the where the Warriors play. Might have to come out here and check out a game. But a uh, shout out to everybody. I'll be going back to L.A. in a minute. But, anyway, Known 14. It is a movie, man. Jazz the Rapper and Coffee has been announced. You know what I'm saying? That's me. That's my that's my drum roll, man. Shout out to that. I love the matchup. Love the matchup. This is the matchup I was talking about that was dope. I feel like this is the second best matchup on the card. Number two on Wody and number three on Wody. I feel like the winner of this needs to battle the winner of, you know, the Swamp and, and the Hustle battle. They can settle their shit maybe later on in Summer Madness. But I feel like this is a fire battle. I like this kind of slotted right after the whole Rum Nitty and, um, no Rum Nitty and Lux card. And like I said, it's just turned into an EFB card. Every member of EFB, with the exception of a few, you know what I'm saying? JC ain't on here, some other people. But every damn member is on here except for the Coffee and Hustle battle. I mean, Coffee and Jazz battle. So this is going to be crazy. This card is going to be crazy. If this is going to be a private event, like I'm hearing as a possibility, how can the battles be bad? How can the battles be bad when you are literally rapping in front of each other with a handful of niggas, bro? How can the battles be bad? As much as we talk shit about Caffeine, Caffeine produced a lot of good battles, bro. We don't know what Daylight and Tay Rock would have been on a big stage, but we got to hear word for word everything niggas said. Mook and Tay Rock, we got to hear word for word. Like These are the kind of battles we were getting in the Caffeine area, which was basically another private event kind of thing. So right now, I don't really see how URL could drop the ball. This card is fire. How can you not like this card? If you don't like this card, you just don't like Battle Rap right no more. Ain't nothing I can do for you. Ain't nothing I can do for you. If you don't like this card, you just don't like Battle Rap right now. Because it's giving you everything. It's giving you a female matchup. giving you a male versus female matchup. It's giving you, you know, the whole... Uh, Obviously, the Lux and Rum Nitty, it's a lot going on with that. It's giving you Danny Meyer, someone that deserves to be on this card, and all this kind of stuff. It's giving you T-Top, a nigga that's, that's putting in a lot of work. It's giving you everything, bro. You are getting everything on this card. So, I can't... What do I rate this card? I mean, if I'm keeping it real, I ain't gonna jump out the window and act like it's a max out of nothing. It's not like that. But, it's close. I am a, It's close. I keep it real. This card ain't no lower than an eight. This card, and it probably, if I'm really keeping it real, eight and a half, man. I got this card as an eight and a half, real close to nine to keep to keep it a bean with you. I don't really see no nothing wrong with the card. Everybody that needs to be on here and adding Hustle and Swamp was a good look for URL, man. Obviously, they did it. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know they wanted to get Hustle on the card for the whole EFB shit. I get that. But also, it had a lot to do with Swamp, too. He just kicked Verb ass. I wish niggas would keep it real. He just beat Verb. And URL rewarded him and put him on the card. This battle got put together at the last minute. Niggas didn't even know about this battle. They talking about Eunice and all this other stuff. I wasn't even hearing about this battle. This battle just came together. And a lot of it has to do with the whole verb battle. So I'm sure URL wasn't super crazy that Swamp battle verb. Because it was on Chrome. They couldn't make it happen. They're not booking verb anymore. It basically didn't burn that bridge. You know, leaking text messages from, from, from P, leaking messages or audio from P, leaking text messages from Beasley. That that line has been crossed. And I feel like Verb was willing to cross that line because he didn't want to battle on URL no more. He can still have his bread buttered without ever battling on URL. And when he realized that, he burnt his bridge with URL. He felt like he heard him said it, heard what he said in a hustle interview. If they don't like what I'm selling, I can take my product somewhere else. 
I think he realized he was never going to ever, 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 ever win a battle on a URL stage again, as far as a big room, like a Houston or some shit like he would or homecoming in New York. It was never going to happen again for Verb. And when he realized that, he took his shit, packed up, and still knew he could have his bread buttered another way. I could have, I could do a crazy verb blog one day and just detail like everything that's really going on behind the scenes that a lot of y'all, I don't, one day, one day when I feel like getting in that bag, I might do it. Maybe like one of them end of the year joints or something. I don't know. Or a nigga piss me off. I might do it. But it's a, it's a lot of method to his madness or why he really, he really went that route. So they knew they couldn't book the battle because they wasn't bringing verb to URL. So they had to kind of let Swamp do the battle to keep it real. And I think he handled it a lot differently than Easy did. I think he let him know, kept him abreast of the situation. Said, Look, man, let me go over there and kick this dude ass. Now, they probably told him, yo, don't go over there and lose. Because if you lose, you bring your stock down. But he goes over there, wins the battle. They reward him. They put him on, uh, they pretty much put him on, on Gnome. And this is just a good look for him. You know what I'm saying? This is just their way of saying, not only did Swamp kick your ass, but we also know Swamp beat you. And that's pretty much it. Yo, I don't think y'all realize, yo, how crazy this swamp shit and bird shit is, is, is then got, bro. Like, it's, like, really disgusting the way these niggas be acting in spaces and shit, bro. This, this shit, even, <laughs> bro, listen to this shit from Verb today, bro. Listen, listen to this shit. This nigga is grasping for straws to try to figure out a way to win this battle. This nigga said, oh, well, you know, when it drops on Cam, you know, on the third, on the third, the third watch, he's gonna win. Listen to what this nigga said. Hold on. You might not be built to titration or impact. I'm numb to this shit. Some of you are not numb. So you can't be that person. No, you can't be that person. Then some of your other option is be swamp. That's your better option. Boy, do you know how bad you look on this replay? The one that's coming up, boy, you look so regular. Because, see, that this one, all the smoke clear. See, like most, when you're in this position, everybody will see so much power on you. They want it. They want you to stop. You can't. I just, you can't. The guy is beyond regular on camera. That's why I got real quiet out here. This guy is three battles, man. You have live, you have the pay-per-view, and then you have the final edit. Final edit is when the color correct comes, the sound just all those type of things and that's when the game doesn't really work out for nobody this nigga says you have the live the pay-per-view and the final edit the final edit is where the color correction from this is what we came to as this is what we came to verb you relying on a final edit to try to hope you can win the battle bro if you don't win on a live and you don't win on a pay-per-view you not winning on a final edit see what niggas ain't telling you verb is that your rounds ain't clean and unless Rem is going to edit that shit out, your rounds ain't clean. That's why you can't win the battle. That's why you can't win round two. So you can take, listen to me, folks. Listen to me, folks. I got to get like Piper Boy, man. Shout out to Piper Boy. But this is what I got to tell you, niggas, man. You can go to the 230 mark of round two and stop it. And you can go to the 230 mark of round two on Verb and stop it. The problem is Verb's round's not clean. So you're going to still be deducting points from Verve's rounds. And then that's how Swamp still beats him, even at 2.30. So y'all keep getting hung up on this time. Oh, Swamp wrapped the minute over in the second round. He had to cheat. All of a sudden, it's cheating now. He had to cheat. Nobody is telling you. Only Chris, I'm biased, is telling you, niggas, your rounds aren't clean. When your rounds ain't clean, and you're mumbling and you're stumbling. You do a soul with Showtime. Uh, uh, it's oh Showtime. Uh, come on, man. Like, like, come on, man. The, that Showtime, that shit don't hit no more. You done lost it. It's over with. It don't hit no more. Your rounds are not clean, bro. And when your rounds ain't clean, you can't win the round. Because Swamp was still bombing in the second round. And that's the problem. It don't really matter where you stop this battle at in rounds two and three. You lost them rounds. If you stop them at the minute mark, the minute 30 mark, the two minute mark, the 230 mark, the three minute mark. He was losing every ounce of the way because he kept stumbling. That's his problem. He got flustered. Niggas talking. He worried about bad news and T-top and all this. You supposed to be the person that didn't seen it all. You didn't stood in all these big stages with all the heckling. That shit ain't supposed to bother you a champion. But it bothers you. 
unless Rim is gonna edit out your chokes, and she better not, cause I got the I got the raw version. Unless your choke, not chokes, excuse me, not chokes, he ain't choked. Unless your stumbles are edited out, you can't win. You can't win. <laughs> that's what. That's what. That's what. No, all these niggas in spaces. Nobody's telling them. You know, my nigga, you ain't, your rounds ain't clean. I don't really know what to tell you. I don't know how you gonna win with, with non clean rounds. Your rounds ain't clean. The only way you gonna win a round when your rounds ain't clean is the other nigga has to not be good. But Swamp was good. So yes, the <laughs> bro Swamp got his his whole. Bro, Swamp started out with a bucket hat and a button down on. He finished the fucking battle with his whole shirt open with a fucking gold dollar sign chain, right? The nigga is like a fucking cash money chain. Verb couldn't even freestyle about that shit, bro. About your chest being open, your verb chest, or your, your fucking taco meat on you. Like, he couldn't come up with nothing to fucking break the monotony of what was going on. Bro, that nigga lost, bro. <laughs> he lost. And niggas ain't keeping it real. And now I gotta watch niggas like Rosenberg Raw. This is what nigga, this was Rosenberg Raw posted, man. Check this shit out. Rosenberg Raw right here. The nigga said, "Don't cook me, but can we get a Swamp and Verb Part Two? I feel like we gotta start embracing rematches and trilogies, especially when dudes battle and still going at it." Raw, you really, you really get on my nerves with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really get on. I, I get it. You want to do your super streams and be cool with niggas and all that. Bro, don't come in the media trying to be all on this kind of shit. You posting, a, you posting like you need a verb, a swamp part two, as if it's a close battle. As if it's like a, a debatable battle or something. Like, like you trying to figure out the outcome of the battle. You need, bro, we don't need to see a part two. Verb loss. I really wish y'all to start telling this nigga. Stop trying to put an asterisk. Stop trying to put all this other shit. Y'all niggas. Verb. Verb got y'all niggas really in spaces saying Swamp cheated. This is how crazy you are. Let me tell you something. Remy Ma knew about all of these time issues. That's why she was on the phone with ARP and ARP was trying to put out the time and all this kind of stuff. That's because Remy Ma was hearing about all this stuff too. Remy Ma... Honestly, if it wasn't going to be Verb stopping the battle, Remy could have stopped it, but she didn't stop it. So Swamp is not wrong for rapping. This is a grudge match. This is his shot. He's trying to do his thing. He's going to wrap his ass off. So that means that the league owner should stop the round. If she, But she's not going to do it. No league owner is doing that anymore because it's all free content. They're just going to let niggas rock. This ain't the old days when Smack had the time clock and all that kind of shit. That shit over with. So now it's on the ballot. Ballot and not let a nigga go, get off too much. But you realize that nobody in spaces is blaming Rim for not stopping the time. They keep going to Swamp, bro. They keep going to Swamp when really Swamp is just rapping. And these niggas will never go to Hitman and tell him that he cheated for rapping six minutes in the first round versus Calico. They'll never do all that. It's just like, bro, these niggas are like they scared of Verb or something, bro. Just tell the nigga they lost and keep it moving. But I was thinking that there was going to be like a Eunice and Kid Chaos or some little six battle. The six battle is really Hustle and Swamp, which is also a fire battle too. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know I don't rock with the BBL Hustle and all that, but I ain't going to act like her and Arsenal wasn't a good battle. And now I feel like her and Swamp would be a good battle. And if Swamp can beat her, which I do think is possible, she could beat Swamp too. Look at what, look what kind of last couple months Swamp then had. He's been in beat verb beat hustle and now he jumps on a cody radar he ain't gonna be up there with one or two or nothing but now he can at least be kind of up there maybe after av or some shit because he's gonna get more battles and stuff like that now all of a sudden he jumps in and i feel like all this shit is strategic you already know what they're doing they trying to give they trying to give hustle to swamp so that if swamp can be hustled then then swamp can run around and say not only did i beat verb i also beat the motherfucker you couldn't beat which was hustle but it's also tricky because Hustle can win too. But all in all, this is, <laughs> they really booked this nigga, bro, obviously because he won, but because his whole third round, Verb's third round, is you can't get on a known. That's his third round, bro. If you watch the battle, his third round is the reason why URL won't book you. The reason why URL won't book you for Swamp, for Summer Madness or Gnome. They won't book you because you keep fucking with Beasley's girl, Beasley's girl, Beasley's girl. That's his whole third round angle. And what does URL do? They book him. It's all chess moves, man. Swamp got to take advantage of. He got to win the battle. 
but it's all chess move. The, the 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 battle within the battle, the real known battle, is you are real versus verb. That's really the that's really the battle. They they just be they just be fucking with him any way they can, and he fuck with them any way they can, any way he can. This is, this, this is a chess move within a chess move. Like, oh, you think we can't? You think we won't book him? All right, boom, he on the card right now, just like that. This battle wasn't even talked about, and I'm very plugged in. Nobody was saying Swamp was unknown. All of a sudden. I get a phone call like, yo, I think Sw I think Swamp been at it. Oh, word. Boom. The next day, trailer and everything. And then he shot a trailer, all kind of shit. Just like that. It's, like, it's all chess moves. But the card is fire. I like every single matchup on the card, man. Geechee and Fawn should be a good battle. Small room. I'm expecting this shit to be a movie. I ain't going to even hold you. I am expecting this event to be a movie. Movie. Get your pay-per-view tickets, man. Holla at your boy.